Dr. Tammy talks about. So today we're going to continue looking at articles, but today will not be a in-depth article, simply for the fact that it will have nothing to do with Johnny Depp, AH, anyone involved in the case, or even the case itself. Today's article is going to be a history article. So for those of you who have been following my channel, you know that I'm a bit of a history nerd and I've been thinking about adding some history videos to my channel and I came across this article and I thought this would be a great one for us to talk about. So let's get into it. So this article is from the 18th of February of 2021. It is from the BBC News and the title of this article is A14 Upgrade, Rare Roman Penis Carving Found in Cambridgeshire. And please forgive me, I know I probably butchered that and I didn't mean to, so please forgive me on that. But the article starts out, A highly significant and rare carved Roman phallus has been discovered by archaeologists working on finds unearthed during a major road upgrade. The article says that the, stone was, the millstone was found broken somewhere by experts somewhere in 2017 and 2018. And it was only after they put it back together that the penis shape was revealed. Archaeologists say that it's one of only four known examples of Romano-British millstones decorated in this way. And during this upgrade of the A14 between Cambridge and Huntington, more than 300 hand mills and millstones were recovered. So um, they go on to talk about here that the stone had been preserved by being reversed and adapted for use as a bedstone. And a bedstone is basically a convex stationary base when you're making millstones. They come in two pieces there and that's that's part of it. So when it was initially broken, they, they adapted it to use in this way. The article says that there have been a total of around 20,000 millstones discovered nationwide. And that's why this particular one is so important because this is one of only four that they found decorated in this way. Um, then the article goes on to talk about how there were known associations between images of the phallus and milling, such as those found above the bakeries of Pompeii, one inscribed with Hic Habitat Felicitas, and forgive me for my pronunciation there, but that means you will find happiness here. And they say that, well, you know, I did talk about how they say that this is significant because it's one of only four found in this way. And that's the thing, they found so many, but yet they've only found four decorated in this way. Um, Dr. Ruth Shaffey from Oxford Archaeology said that it offers insight into the importance of the mill to the local community and to protective proper properties bestowed upon the millstone and its produce, the flower, by the depiction of a phallus on its upper surface. surface I'm sorry. Um, the article does say that in the Roman world, the phallic Im image was found on all over the place. It was associated with good luck. So included, the article does end up with included in the list of finds during this upgrade to the A14, are the earliest evidence of beer brewing in Britain that dates back to as early as 400 BC. The only the second gold coin to be found in the country depicting Leolanus, Leolanus, forgive me on that one, that's another one, who reigned for about two months in 269 AD before he was killed. They also found woolly mammoth tusk and woolly rhino skulls. So, I mean, this article is really unique in that, you know, you don't see every day that they are finding phallus carvings on um, items that they find, but it is rare because there's only been four found in Britain with this particular decoration on it, even though millstones are found pretty regularly from what I've been able to see about British archaeology. And that it's Romano and it does have the phallus symbol on it and it's it's associated with good luck, I find it very interesting because if you think about it, at that time, it wasn't like you could run to the grocery store and buy a loaf of bread. Your, your survival depended on being able to mill this flour to make the bread so that you and your family would have food. 
So it's, I find it just very interesting that they put, they took the time to carve the shape because, you know, it's, that's another thing. It wasn't like they could just run down to the store and buy something already carved with this. This was something that they had to spend time decorating and time doing to create this. So it was very important to them. And I just find things like this so very interesting. Um, the way that that they they use superstition, I guess is what we call it in today's words, but the way that everything in the world around them had meaning and had significance. And that something as simple to us as bread could mean life and death to the people who were making this. So I hope you found that interesting. I'm curious to know what are your thoughts about it. Did you find it interesting? Are there any other history topics that you'd like to discuss? You know, feel free to leave me a comment down below. As always, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Please share this video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We talk about a lot of things here. And there's a lot to come. My channel's very new. I've only been doing this a little over a month. So there's a lot to come. But as always, thank you so much for being here. And until next time, be blessed. Mm -hmm.